I hope you are happy and fine. Yes? Okay, today is Thursday, the 4th of June. Yes? And we are going to check pages from the activity book. How are you today? Happy, fine, sad, angry? Okay. Good. Well done. Yes? Better if you are happy. And if you are sad, qua 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 qua. Yeah? Okay. Don't worry. Be happy. Yes? Okay. So we are going to check pages 68, 69, 70. Yes? From the activity book. 68, 69, and 70 from the activity book. Okay? Yes? Good. What about the short story? Did you get the short story? Okay? If you don't have the short story yet, yes, you should have, yes, yeah? because today we are going to work with the pre-reading questions. Hoy vamos a hacer las pre-reading questions, que son las preguntas, diferentes questions que se hacen antes de la lectura comprensiva que van a hacer ustedes, ¿ok? Preparate, si no tenés un highlighter, tenés que tenerlo para próximamente, ¿sí? Ojo que sí o sí para la clase que viene ya va a haber tarea de lectura de esto, ¿eh? Que ya lo tiene, hay algunas personas que me contaron que ya estuvieron leyendo, ¿ok? Uh, pay attention now. So, what you are going to do? Yes, it's at home. Yes, ok, at home. Pay attention. Yes, prepare the activity book. Yes, because we are going to check. And look. Acordate, Jonas Salk, casi coronel abogado, en esa librería, fotocopiadora, está a la venta de esto y lo puedes, que lo lleve anotadito la persona que te va a traer. Yes, okay, shall we check the pages very quickly, porque hoy sí que tenemos de todo, yes, Formosa uh, then and now, como era Formosa in the past, and how Formosa, how is uh, Formosa in the present, yes, okay, well done, so let's go, if it is okay, put a tick, if it is wrong, put a cross, okay. Kids, okay, number one, page 68, no, yes, is the musician playing the piano? No, he isn't, he's playing the violin, yes, correct, with an extra color, an extra color, yes, okay, como hacemos siempre, seguro que ya estás haciendo con un extra color, no estás haciendo con una virome, con un pen, sino con un extra color, yes, okay, porque ya estás entrenado de todas maneras. No con el highlighter, porque si no se te va a gastar todo tu highlighter. Entonces, correte una fibra, un marker, una virome, un extra de, de extra color. Yes, ok, good. O si no tenés, también puedes hacer un red pen. Entonces, te queda corregido. Yes, con un extra color. Yes, ok, good. Bueno, so pay attention. Good. Are you ready? Yes, bien prolijito corregimos, eh. Well, no, he isn't, he's playing the violin. Number three, what's uh, to the left on, of the cafe? A hotel. Yes, all right. Ah, qué lindos dibujitos esto, with the places. I love it. I love them. Yes, okay. So let's repeat. Car park. Repetition. Car park. Two. Three, market. Market. Four, cafe. Cafe. Three, uh, five, theater. Theater. ¿Cómo se dice una obra de teatro? De teatro se dice play, así como play, de jugar o play, de playstation, se dice play. Yes, I will see, I'm going to see a play, yes, una obra de, at the theater. Ok, number six, train station. Train station. Train station. Seven, square. Square. Eight, close shop. Close shop. Nine, shopping center. Shopping center. 10, bridge. Bridge. 11, bus stop. Bus stop. 12, hotel. Hotel. And like a river, like a river. Did you listen to the song? Bueno, yes. entonces ahora no va a haber más problemas con la pronunciation de river porque esa canción es super catchy, bien pegadiza es, yes, ok? Y sirve para esto, para enfatizar la pronunciation porque a veces queremos pronunciar mal y si pronunciamos mal después se va a hacer, en vez de un mistake, se va a hacer un error, yes, ok? Good. So let's go to page 69, 69, yes, are you there? Yes. All right, so number, uh, page 69, exercise one, two, river, like a river, yes, okay, number three, problem, four, wall, 
nuestro asesor informático les encontró esa canción para ustedes. Así que estamos acá trabajando en equipo, ¿eh? Ok, muy bien para el asesor informático. Yes, ok. Good. Number four, wall. Number five, coming. Number, uh, and then we have two. Yes. Five, three, and four. Two, five, three, and four. Yes, los numeritos de, las, de, las, de los cuadritos, de las pictures, ¿ok? Yes, good. Number two. Number two, true. Number three, false. Number four, false. And number five, false. Yes, all right, well done. Good, exercise three. There was a train station. There was a square 150 years ago. Four. Both goes to the underground river. The rivers in Verhaven are under the roads. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Yes. Good, good, good. So let's go to page uh, 70. Yes, okay. So we have 2A. Three. Bueno, esto ya lo hicimos, porque lo hicimos en clase, la clase pasada, yes? Voy desde el 2, ok? Yes? Yes. Ok, good. Number 2, was Jane. Was Jane. Number 3, were Jane and Alex. Remember, was she, were they. Number 3, were Jane and Alex at the clothes shop last Wednesday? Teacher, can you repeat again, please? Number 2, was Jane. Was. Yes? Number three, where? Number four, where were you? ¿Qué significa where were you? Where were you yesterday? I was at the instituto. Where were you yesterday? At the disco, at the cinema, at the theater, or at home? At my... Yesterday. At home. At home. Okay, good. Well, and today you were in the siesta at your cousin's house. Yes. Yes, okay. Good. Number three, no, yes, no, wasn't, no, she wasn't, she was at the post office, yes, number three, estoy en el tres, abajo, Jack and Alice were at the bank two days ago, was she, no, she wasn't, she was at the post office, yes, number three, no, they weren't, they were, at the supermarket, aquí. Yes, do you want a repetition? Yes. No, she wasn't. She was at the post office. No, they weren't. They were at the library. Four. Uh, we were at the supermarket. Tenían que mirar ahí arribita donde estaba uno. Acordate. I was, you were, she was, he was, we were, they were. Ellos, ¿ok? Acordate cuando va con was y cuando va con where. Esto es el revision del año pasado, ¿eh? ¿Ok? Este tiempo, pero le agregamos con there was and there were. There is, there are. ¿Ok? Hay, había. ¿Ok? Good. So let's go to page. Estamos ahí, ¿no? Yes, it's done. ¿Ok? Bye bye activity book. Then we are going to uh, do a listening. Yes, ¿ok? Uh, on page 79. 79. Yes, yeah, ok. Good. Put the date. Ya que tenemos abierto, lo vamos a hacer ahora. Put the date on page 79. 79 from the activity book. Yes. Yeah? Y después ya arrancamos con todo lo otro. 79 from the activity book. Ready? Yes. Put the date. All right. Good, good, good. Wait a minute. Yes, okay.
listen and write. One. What's your homework today, Ben? Knit six. Record. Okay, so we have match the words with the headings. Okay, un mismo los títulos primero. Repeat. Theater. Letters. Okay. BC. BC. Bridges. Bridges. Noisy. Noisy. Safe. Safe. Quiet. quiet. Okay, so we have theaters. Yes. Theaters. Okay, teatros. BC. What is, what is BC? Ruidoso, concurrido. Concurrido. Muy bien. Bridges. Puentes. Yes. Noisy. Rui, Rui, ruidoso, safe, asal, bo, bo. Oh, quiet, Quieto. tranquila, yes, ok, good, ok, so match with the places, unimos por favor, yes, uní con los lugares, yes, type of transport, car, repeat, train, repeat, houses, houses, Markets, buses, buses, bikes. Bus. Ok, ahora sí, vamos a unir con flecha. Type of transport, type of building and places, it work to describe. Ok, come on, do it. So we have type of transport, control, cars, trains, buses, and bikes, yes, transportes, means of transport, type of buildings, yes, okay, so we have bridges, bridges what else, houses, and, and markets. markets, and words to describe the city, remember last class, yes, we learned Some words to describe a city, a busy city, busy. a quiet city, a no safe city. city. Listen, darling, listen. I'm explaining, yes? Okay, look. A quiet city, a safe city, yes? Those are adjectives to describe a city. Ahora sí, decímelo, dale. Busy. Busy or busy? Busy. Yes. Noisy. Yes. Safe. Yes. And quiet. Quiet. Is Formosa a quiet city? Yes, it is or no, it isn't? Yes, it is. Okay, is Formosa a safe city? Yes, it is. Which is safer, Buenos Aires or Formosa? Formosa. Okay, and which is noisier, Buenos Aires or Formosa? Sorry? It's noisier. Buenos Aires, mm. of course. And um, tell me, uh, which is a busy city, which is busier, Cordoba or Formosa? All right, well done. Is it clear? So there are some examples, okay? Let's go to the listening. Really first, numbered of different type of buildings, the most important building, name of cinema, transport in the city, and the streets weren't, so you have to listen, and you have to pay attention that in the listening, yes, you will uh, listen to a number, yes, of type of buildings. Yes, you will listen to the most important building, yes, which is it, yes, a name of a cinema, yes, okay, is it clear, so pay attention. Building 17, listen and write. One. What's your homework today, Ben? I'm right, this is an example, all right, this is done as an example, yes, we are in exercise, this one, look, hello. Writing a project about our... 17. Listen and write. One. What's your homework today, Ben? I'm writing a project about our city. That sounds really interesting. Yes, it's about our city in the past. Wow. Okay, homework is about our city in the present or in the past? In the past. All right, so concentrate. We are going to discover the other things. Oh, that sounds even more exciting. Two. The attention. Okay, so how many different types of buildings were there in our city in the past? That's difficult. Well, think about it. Were there any cinemas? Oh no, Mum, there weren't any cinemas or shopping centres. 
but there were some theatres, a lot of houses, small markets, and there was also a bridge. Right. Okay, how many theatres? Yes. Theatres, houses. Yes. Supermarkets and bridges. Bridges. Okay. Difficult. Well, Listen. think about it. Were there only cinemas? Um, you only have to write the numbers. Solo tenés que escribir no los lugares, solo los numbers. ¿Cuántos había? Four, ok? Que son los que nombró Aldana, ok? Don't write, because it says number. Te pregunta el número de um, type of buildings, ok? Había cuatro tipos. No, ma. There weren't any cinemas or shopping centers. There were. But there were some theaters, a lot of houses, small markets, and there was also a bridge. So how many types? All right. Right. So that makes four different types, yeah. doesn't it? Theatres, houses, markets, and a bridge. Yes, that's right. Four. Three. Right. And what was the most important building of all? Um, the bridge, I think. Really? What about the markets? No, Mum. There were a lot of markets, but there was only one bridge to cross the river mm -hmm. and get to the markets. Mm, good. Okay, so which was the most important? The bridge. The bridge. Because it was, it, it was important to cross the river. 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 Yes. Point. Four. And was there a cinema in our town? Yes, the rainbow. Wow. Sorry? Rainbow. R-A-I-N-B-O-W. Okay, what was the name of the most important rainbow. cinema? Rainbow. And what is a rainbow? Red and yellow and pink and green. And rainbow, yes. Okay. Five. Right. And what about transport? Were there any cars? Cars? No, Mum. There weren't any cars or buses or trains. So what was there? There were a lot of horses. Horses? Yes, horses were very important animals then. How interesting. Okay, so what was the means of transport at that period? Buses? No. Helicopters? No. no. Uh, trains? No. But? Horses. Horses, yes. Six. So, what were the streets like? Were they safe? Well, I don't think so. They weren't very safe because there were a lot of people and a lot of horses. Yes, so not very safe. Okay, were the streets safe? No. Why? Because there were a lot of horses. There were a lot of people. Yes, okay? Is it clear? Yes. So it wasn't safe, all right? So, let's uh, shut this and... Now look at the teacher, yes, okay, is it clear? Yes, look at the teacher and pay attention. Good, good, good. Now you're going to look at a picture, yes, okay. going to um, work on Formosa today and Formosa then in the past. Yes, so uh, pay attention. Yes, the teacher is looking for the, the picture. Yes, okay. Think about Formosa in the past and think about Formosa in the present. And you're going to see a picture that uh, teacher Nicole and I have prepared for you, yes, okay. All right, good. Wait a minute. Right, there we are. Good. 
Good, good, good. Good. Formosa then and Formosa now. Yes, okay, good. All right. Okay, can you see it from there? Yes, oh, beautiful pictures of Formosa. Yes, good, good, good. There we are. So, um, can you tell me some adjectives? For example, this is new. Uh, this is a new or old city. A new city or an old city? An old. City. Old. Yes. Okay. Uh, what about this? An old cathedral or a new cathedral? A new cathedral. Yes, it's new. Yes. Okay. And this is an ancient cathedral. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, good. Well, okay. And what about the, uh, the, the streets? Yes, the streets. The train station. Yes, okay. Ah, look. ¿Qué otro adjetivo? What other adjective le podemos poner a esta cathedral? Beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. It's a very beautiful cathedral, yes? Okay. Um, what about this museum? Is it an expensive or a cheap museum? Expensive or cheap? Cheap. Cheap, yes? Okay. Cheap. No cuesta mucho dinero ir a este museo, eh? Okay. Cheap. A cheap museum. Yes? Okay. Look. Oh my God. What about the square? Yes? Okay. This was Formosa, yes, in the past, yes, and Formosa in the present, you know, this is the square, San Martin Square, and this is the square now, yes, San Martin Square, the train station, the cathedral, yes, the museum, yes, okay, the museum then, and the museum now, yes, is it clear? Good, so pay attention now. Good. Can you make sentence with there was? There was a new was cathedral, an old cathedral. Um, an old. An old. An old train station. Ah, this is a train station, isn't yes. it? Ah, yes. There was an old train station. Yes, I was looking here. Yes, there was an old train station. Yes, okay, there was an old cathedral. An old cathedral, yes, and now a new there is there is a new train station. There is a new train station. There is a beautiful cathedral. There is a beautiful cathedral. Yes, okay, good. In the past, there is. Look, pay attention, there is in the present. There is in the Or there are. Y en el pasado voy a usar. There, there was. O. There were. There were. Dale, vamos a hablar. There was. The govern the governor house. The governor mm -hmm. house. Okay, good. And what about uh the 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 square? Yes. Was it a safe square? Was it a busy square? There was a safe square. Okay, there was a safe square square. Okay, there were cars, old cars in the streets, yes. 
Uh, there is now, there is a busy street, yes, you know, a busy street with a lot of people, yes, okay, uh, it wasn't very busy there, yes, okay, but now it's busy, it is a busy, there is a, a busy city center, yes, okay, yeah. so pay attention when you use in the present, there is, or there are, and when you want to say había, there was, or there were. There were many cars, yes. There was an old cathedral. No, this is an old train, train station. station. An old train station, yes, okay. There is a beautiful cathedral. There is a, look, a busy city center. Yes, okay, good. Is it clear? Uh, there was a safe. There was a safe, yes, there was a safe. Um, square, yes, okay, is it clear? So that was Formosa, yes, okay, in the past, yes, okay, and look, that is Formosa in the, yes, in the present, okay, good. So pay attention now, let's go to the other picture, yes, okay, this is your class, so uh, sit down and pay attention. Yes, okay. So pay attention now, yes? If I have to say, what was it like? Look, what was it like? What was repetition? What? What was it like? Yes, okay. What was it like? ¿Qué será que significa? Escucha la respuesta que te doy. It was old. It was ancient. Yes, it was uh, a busy city. Yes, it was beautiful. Yes, ¿qué será que quiere decir esta pregunta? ¿Cómo era? ¿Cómo era? Muy bien. Yes, what is it like? Acordate, cuando quieres decir cómo es, le cambias el verbo. What is it like? It is beautiful. It is modern. Yes, what was it like? It was old. It wasn't busy. Yes. What is it like? Repetition. What is it like? What was it like? It was old. It was ancient. What is it like? What is it like? It is beautiful. It is busy. Yes. It is. It was quiet. What was it like? What was San Martin Square like? It was quiet. And now it is busy. Yes. Because there are a lot of people now. Yes. The population of Formosa has increased. La, la población también ha crecido, yes? Yeah? So, the streets are busy. Entonces tenéis la pregunta, what is it like? It is beautiful, it is uh, yeah. busy, quiet. it is quiet, it is safe. But what was it like in the past? It wasn't. Uh, it was old, it was safe, it was quieter. Era más tranquila todavía. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Good. Entonces tenés dos questions. Vos podés jugar si vas a preguntar cómo es. What is it like? It's beautiful. It's modern. What was it like? It was old. It was Asian. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Good. So pay attention. Look, ahora te quiero mostrar algo que te va a tocar escribir a vos. Yes, you have to write for next class. Taran, taran. Look, can you read, Aldana? Hi, my name is Ezequiel. I live in Formosa, Argentina. 200 years ago. 200 years ago, there were a lot of trains in the train station. There were many shopping. There were many bridges over the river. Bridges? The oh. river. Yes. Repeat, there weren't? There weren't any bridges over the river. Bridge or bridges? Bridges over yes. the river. Today, Formosa is a big and modern city. There are lots of cars, motorbikes and buses. There is a riverside and there is a cross at the entrance of the city. Okay, so this is a description. It was written by Ezequiel, see, a student. And it says, I live in Formosa 200 years ago. There were, the, there were a lot of trains in the train station. Yes, it is true. Yes, uh, there weren't any shoppings. Yes, uh, there weren't 
yes, any bridges, yes, over the river. Today, Formosa is a big and modern city, yes, okay, there are a lot of cars, yes, y ahí empieza a cambiar, porque ya pones today, in the past, one paragraph in the past, and one paragraph in the present, today, because you have you, my town, then, and now, yes, it's a description, okay, today, there are a lot of cars, motorbikes and buses so it is uh, what is it like what is formosa like it's a busy city yes okay there are a lot of cars people motorbike buses motorbikes there is a riverside and there is a cross a beautiful cross in the and a virgin no yes i think yes there is a no it was in the past back in Avia nada Yes, okay, there was anything. Yes, okay, and now there are a lot of avenues, there are a lot of streets, there are a lot of people, and there is a cross. No había nada acá. Yes, okay, I think it was a virgin. Yes, okay, but now there is a cross, a big cross at the entrance of the city. So this is a description. Mira que linda que es esta descripción. Así vas a escribir vos para la clase que viene. ¿Está? Is it clear? Yes? Do you understand? All right. Well done. Formosa then and Formosa now. Yes? Okay? Good, good, good. Well, so now very quickly put the dates on pages. Let's go to the book. Book, book, book. 78, 79, 80 and 81. Yes? Okay? Y sigo con las pages. Porque tenemos de todo un poco, yeah? 78, 79, 80, 81, no te asustes, no son muchas, ¿sí? sino que hay mucho listening también, ¿eh? Ok, igual a esta altura ya no te asustas, ¿ok? These pages from the class book, yes, all these pages from the class book, ¿ok? ¿Is it clear? Yes. Right, 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 ya te expliqué lo que es la tarea, yes. Ok, desde la clase que viene, eh, la clase que viene tenemos revision, hay revisión, ¿eh? De las unidades 5 y 6, así que tenés que estudiar. Todos los temas están en la foto pizarra. Put the date in all the pages. Put the date in all the pages. Alright. The date in all these pages. Right. Good, good, good. Right. Param, param. Wait a minute. Okay. Let's go to the listening. Unit six, recording ten. Listen and read. Historic building. Historic buildings. For example, what historic buildings are there in Formosa? The museum, the cathedral. Yes, the museum, the cathedral, the train station. Yes, so all these are historic buildings. Yes, todos los que vimos que estaban ahí. Yes, the cathedral. Yes, um, the museum, okay? So pay attention now. Vamos a ver de otros lugares. A ver, museums, yes, okay. There we are. Look, this page. Historic buildings aren't always old. Mm -hmm. They can be modern too. You know, ¿sabías eso? That historic buildings are not always old. No tienen que ser siempre viejos. They are, they can be new also. Modern, yes? Modern, not new. Modern, yes? Okay. Let's take a look at three very different historic buildings. Name. CN Tower, Toronto, Canada. This is in Toronto. Year, 1976. Del 1900, chicos, es este building. 1976. Oh, my God. The CN Tower. The CN Tower is 553 meters high. 
it was the tallest tower in the world for 34 years. At the top, there's a restaurant, and you can see beautiful views of the busy city of Toronto. Would you like to be there? At the top of this tower, yes, mira que es re grande, 553 meters, yeah, 553 meters, but at the top, at the top of the tower, there is a beautiful restaurant. So if you have dinner, if you have lunch at this restaurant, what? You can see the beautiful view, yes, of the city Teacher. of Toronto, yes? There is a uh, expensive. Expensive? I don't know, darling, but I don't know. Really, I don't know. Yes, it, okay, must, be, it must be expensive. Yes, earn some money. Arremos. Okay, good. Let's go there to the other one. Name. Sydney Opera House. Sydney, Australia. Year. 1973. The water around Sydney Opera House is very busy. There are a lot of boats. Sydney Opera House looks like a boat too. It's very modern and it's the most famous building in Australia. Yes, okay, when you see the city of Australia, the first thing they show is this, the opera, the, uh, the opera, yes, okay? The opera house, okay? So I want you to highlight in the text of one, BC, and in text two, in the text two, modern and famous, todos los adjetivos que usamos para descriptions of, of a city, yes? Lo vas a necesitar para tu descripción, eh? Cuanto más adjetivos nuevos, cuanto más esté copado de todas estas cosas, tu descripción va a ser más, va a ser más acorde a tu nivel. So pay attention, eh? Yes, okay. Nos estamos nutriendo para que después salga una beautiful composition, okay? Name. The Colosseum. The Colosseum. It's yeah. very famous. 80 BCE. The Colosseum is an ancient theatre in Rome. It's ancient. Is. Marca la palabra ancient también. Yes, okay. Very, very old. It's more than 2,000 years old. It's you know, 2,000 years old. It's round, very old. And it's very big. In Roman times, it was very popular. You know, uh, viste la película eh, Máximo, eh, ¿cómo es? El gladiator, el gladiador. Yes, okay. So, he is there, yes. And you know, in the past, in the past, people went there to see the shows, yes. And there were famous gladiators, yes. So, they went there to the Coliseum and they saw shows there, yes, to entertain this, themselves, because there wasn't Netflix, yes, okay, there wasn't computer games, yeah, there weren't computer games, yes, okay, so they went to the Coliseum, yes, to see shows, yes, and there is a, there are many famous films, but one I remember now at this moment is Gladiator, and the protagonist was Maximus, he was a very, very, very strong and uh, you know, um, brave, you know, brave, valiente, gladiator, yes, gladiator, okay? Bueno, mirala o buscala para ver el Coliseum. And it is around, the Coliseum is round. Maybe you went there. Algunos habrán ido a visitar when you went to uh, Rome. People watch shows there. Today, it's quiet inside. But many years ago, it was very Noisy, you know, because many people, all the people cheer. Yay! Maximo! Maximo! Yes, if you see the film, you can see this, okay? The shows. Mirate el film, eh, googlealo, yes, y mirate eh, Maximo sin de Coliseo, yes, Gladiator is the film, y fíjate como era noisy, but nowadays it's quiet, yes, but in the past it was very noisy. Entonces tenemos ahí en este texto, Asian. Yes, okay, quiet and noisy, okay? Good. So let's go to page 69. We're going to listen to the conversation between the two girls, all right? Qué interesante. It was very interesting. Yes, fact files, yeah? Yes or no? Yeah. For me, it was interest. Yeah, interesting, yes? Good. Bueno, de paso la teacher te va contando algunos facts también, yes? Para que te vos te informes. Unit 6, recording 11. 
Listen and write. Where were Kayla and Rachel yesterday? Okay, so at the end of the listening, you have to tell me where were they yesterday, all right? Is it clear? Yes. Hey, Rachel. I was at the new shopping centre yesterday. Really? What was it like? It was very new and modern. There were a lot of shops, but it was very busy. Where were you yesterday? I was at the cinema. How was it? The tickets were expensive, but the film was really exciting. You should go and see it. Good idea. So where was Kyla yesterday? In the show? In the centre. Yes, and Rachel up there? See? Cinema. At the cinema. And what was the cinema the like? Theater. Yes? No, Rachel was at the cinema and Kyla was at the shopping centre. Yes? Oh, yes? Okay, yes. Oh, no. I don't need it yes? Okay, I'm not sleepy. Good. And um, tell me, uh, what was the cinema like? Yes, what was the cinema, the, perdón, el otro, el primero, el, uh, the shopping centre like? It was new, surayalo, eh? Modern. Modern and Busy, yes, it was new, modern and busy. And what was the cinema like? Look, it wasn't cheap, it was very expensive. Expensive, yes, okay. But the field was very Ex exciting. Exciting. Good, yeah, that was all from here. Acá solamente eso. Let's go to page 80. Vamos rápido, come on. Page 80, we have another listening. Esto es todo para nutrirte, para que cuando vos vayas y hagas la descripción, acá hay descripción de todo, viste que hubo descripción de los lugares, acá vamos a escuchar Estambul, yes? después hay una ciudad que está en la página 81, My Town Then and Now, ahí tenés ejemplos también de descripción. You have an example that I projected, entonces estás nutriéndote de todas las cosas para cuando vos vayas, tener las herramientas, the tools for writing a very, a very beautiful composition. Is it clear? Do you agree with me? Yes. Yes, all right. Good. There we are. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Unit 6, recording 15. Listen and read. How many photographs are there in the picture? Four. Four photographs, okay, very nice. And there is a bridge, what else? There is a bridge, there is a, a new city and a new city there. And listen, let's listen. Istanbul, Istanbul. then and now. 400 years ago, Istanbul was very different. The city was smaller than today. Smaller, highlight the word smaller. The Bosphorus was very busy. Busy, very busy. With a lot of boats. There weren't any cars or car parks, but there were a lot of horses. There weren't any trains or train stations. The roads weren't very safe. There were a lot of markets, but there weren't any cinemas. Okay, good. But, el conector but. Yes, ok, marcalo a bat. Puedes usar conectores para que una descripción sea successful, beautiful. You must use connectors. And there were a lot of cars and cinema. There were a lot of supermarkets and cinemas. There weren't any cars, yes, but there weren't any cars. Entonces ya unís dos frases con esos conectores. And para agregar y bat para contra contrastar. There were mm -mm, many supermarkets, but there wasn't, yes, any shopping. Is it clear? Acordate, eh? Galata Bridge was the only bridge in Istanbul. A lot of people traveled from the old city to the north of Istanbul on the bridge. Okay, so the bridge, yes, communicates the city. The old city and the new city, yes, okay? So people travel. Yes, okay. In 1660, there was a huge fire. Oh my God. After the fire, 
there were very few buildings left in Istanbul. Today, the city is... There was a huge fire. You know what was fire? Un incendio. Yes, okay. And then, after the fire, there, were, there weren't a lot of shops. There were a few shops. Uno poco quedan. Yes. Much bigger. And it's very busy. Busy. Marcar otra vez. If you go to Taksim Square, there are people and trams everywhere. What are trams? In San Francisco, hay, eh? Y va en el medio de la ciudad, por el medio de la ciudad. Ah, en el tren de bus. Yes, okay, tranvías, yes. You can also take a boat ride on the Bosphorus. There are a lot of shopping centers, markets, and cinemas. There are a lot of bridges in Istanbul now. The most famous bridge is the Bosphorus Bridge. Wow, very interesting. Okay, so Istanbul today, ¿qué párrafo es Istanbul today? One, two, three or four? Um, Mirate donde dice la palabra today, el párrafo. Three. Three, well done. Acordate, te explico algo, pa, 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 pa. Vas a tener que dejar sangría. ¿Qué es la sangría? ¿Una bebida? Yes, también es una bebida, pero en este caso, hablando eh, para escribir, yes, as regard language, ¿cuándo vas a comenzar un párrafo? Por ejemplo, eh, formosa, bueno, formosa, ta, 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 uh, was, eh, ta, 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 there were, ¿viste que acá yo dejé este espacio? Suponete que está en la hoja. Yes, viste que dejé, este es el margen, desde el margen hasta acá hay un espacio. Ese espacio se llama sangría. sangría. ¿Y qué hace? Cuando vos dejas sangría, separa los párrafos. No hace falta saltar un renglón, sino que acá, este voy a escribir, voy a escribir, sigo, sigo. Y acá voy a decir, today, coma, ta, 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 uh, uh, but, ta, 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 ta. ¿Ves que yo acá? Escribo sobre el margen, ¿se entiende? Yes. Acá también, pero la primera parte que yo voy a comenzar un párrafo, voy a dejar sangría, que es el espacio que hay entre el margen y la palabra que voy a escribir, ¿está? Así que, ojo, ¿sí? En cada párrafo vas a hablar de diferentes cosas, por ejemplo, este en el párrafo 1, ¿de qué se trata el párrafo 1? The Istanbul today, no, porque ya lo usamos. The Great Fire, Istanbul 400 years ago, o Bridges today. ¿De qué se trata el párrafo 1? What is it about? Istanbul for 400 years ago, Bridges today, o The Great Fire? Istanbul. 400 years ago. Yes. Yes, exactamente. Entonces, ese párrafo, que es el párrafo 1, se trata de cómo era Istanbul 400, 400 years ago. Entonces, cada párrafo se trata de diferentes temas. Porque no podemos mezclar fruta con salado, con todo. Cada párrafo es algo. Comillas saladas, fruits, yes, ok, is it clear? Postres, para que te guíes más o menos, estoy diciendo esto, ok. Well, number two, paragraph number two, ¿de qué se trata? Bridges today or the Great Fire, paragraph number two. Come on, pay attention. Tienen el dos ahí al lado. Yes, the Great Fire the great or fire. the Great Fire. Ahí habla de todo el gran incendio que hubo. Y el number, uh, number four is Bridges today. Yes, entonces cada párrafo se trata de diferentes temas. Yes? Entonces vos vas a organizar tu descripción en párrafos. Yes? En este caso vas a tener Formosa in the past and Formosa now. Yes? Then and now. Okay? Is it clear? Y vas a dejar sangría para separar los párrafos. Así que voy a evaluar eso en el writing. ¿eh? Porque a veces bla, 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 la teacher dijo, no entendí lo que dijo y escribo cualquier cosa. Ponelo en práctica en ese párrafo, en el, en el description que tenés. Yes? Bye, bye. Bye bye, esta explicación, no nos vamos todavía. Falta todavía, ok? So let's go to, um, let's go to uh, page 81, page 81, yes, ok? Good? 
listening. Okay, let's go to the listening. Listen and choose. Unit six. Rojo. Last week, Nati was in London or in Lisbon. Nati's hotel was Asian or modern. Seguimos repasando todo este vocabulario de description of cities. At the park, in the park, there was a cafe. Uh, there was a cafe or a theater. Nati's favorite place was the zoo or the beach. Boarding 16. Listen and choose. I hear you were in London last week, Natty. Tell me all about it. It was... Where was she? Pay attention. I hear you were in London last week, Natty. Tell me all about it. It was great. We were in a hotel next to Victoria train station. Where was she? Listen and choose. London or Lisbon? Pay attention. I hear you were in London last week, Natty. In? London. London. Well done. Tell me all about it. It was great. We were in a hotel next to Victoria train station. It was a very big modern hotel. So they were in a hotel. But the hotel was modern or ancient? Modern. Modern. It was next to Victoria train station. Victoria train station in London is very, very famous, yes? Wasn't that very expensive? No, it was a cheap hotel. Great. Next to the hotel, there was a beautiful park. There was even a theatre in the park. Fantastic. Okay, so in the park there was a... Theater. A theater. That's great. You know, you go to the park and you have a theater there. I think the theater might be the Globe Theater. You know, the Globe Theater was a very, is a very, very, very um, uh, important theater. ¿Sabes quién? ¿Quién actuó ahí? William? Shakespeare. Yes, okay. What was your favorite place? Ojo, and there was a big fire in the Globe Theatre. Yes, okay. My favorite place was the zoo. There were so many animals. Okay, so the, her favorite uh, place was the? The zoo. The zoo. There were a lot of animals there. Okay, good. Ah, mira, acá tenés otro texto que te va a ayudar. Yes, my town, then, and I. And now, perdón. Hi, my name is Miguel. I live in Buenos Aires. 400 years ago, there were no, there were a lot of boats on the river plate. Mm. There weren't any cars, buses. There weren't any bridges over the river. Today, Buenos Aires is a big modern city. There are a lot of cars, buses, and trains, and there are a lot of beautiful squares like Plaza de Mayo. Yes. Okay. This I'm a Yes, they protest in Plaza de Mayo. People protest. Yes, okay. Many people. Okay, 82, 82. Nos estamos nutriendo con toda la información acá. Exercises 1 and 2. Come on, come on. Vamos que terminamos. Good. There we are. Okay, let's repeat. And highlight the words. Markets. Markets. Square. Square. Bridge. Bridge, hotel, hotel, bus stop, bus stop cafe, cafe clothes shop, shop, theater, theater train station, station zoo, zoo, car park. Write the correct adjective. Ojo, ojo, eh? tenemos que escribir el adjetivo correcto. Eh? Ok, there are a lot of cars. I can't sleep. No puedo dormir. So, the city is very noisy. noisy. Number two. This hotel is very, it costs a lot of money. Cheap or expensive? Expensive. Expensive. Well done. You must be, the baby is sleeping. You must be noisy or you must be quiet? Quiet. Quiet. Calm down. It isn't. To cling to the top of that tree. It isn't what? S soup. Soup? An adjective, dale. Ah. ¿Quieres comer sopa? ¿Quieres tomar sopa? S Un adjetivo que comienza con S. It isn't. 
If you go to the top of the tree, si vas a la, la punta del árbol, yes, que no es, it's not say. Say, well done, Aldana. Okay, so let's go to page 83, 83. Yes, okay. ¿Cómo vamos en casa? Supongo que bien. Yes, okay, good, ah, me encanta. Look at this picture. All right, there are two people at the bus stop. stop. The boy is eating um, um, um. ice cream. Ice cream. Completa, por favor. Dale en casa que esto es copado. What is the main, uh, the man in the cafe eating? What is he eating? He's eating lunch, dinner? Lunch. Lunch. Okay, he's eating his lunch. And what is next to the cafe? ¿Qué hay al lado del cafe? A clothes shop. A clothes shop. Okay, so well, 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 well done. Yes, okay, good. So let's go very quickly to page 84. 84. Ah, esta me gusta. Okay, what adjectives can you say? Okay, let's repeat. Careful. Careful. Pretty. Todo Careful. highlighted, por favor, eh? Slow. But. So naughty. Careful. Naughty, Naughty and brave. Ok, ya te dije que el gladiator era una persona muy brave. Como brave, valiente. Valiente. Ok, good. Pretty. ¿Qué número pretty? Pretty. Six. Six, well done. Slow. One. No. Ah, yes, 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 I didn't see the turtle. Yes, okay, one. Slow, one. Uh, but. Oh, my gosh. The Three. disaster. He's making a disaster. He doesn't know how to paint. Oh. Number four. two. Number two. No, he is making a disaster. He is making a disaster. Mm. You know, he doesn't know how to paint. Naughty. Ah, uh, my daughter, my little daughter, Ornella, likes painting in the, on the walls. So she is a naughty girl. Yes? Okay, number four. And number five. Number, uh, perdón, number four. Naughty. ¿Qué quiere decir naughty? Me preguntaste en casa. Traviesa. Yes? Don't be naughty. Yes? Okay, brave. Number three. three. Yes, okay, good. So let's go to a uh, look at the picture. Esta me copa. Yes, okay. True or false? Yes, okay. The boys are careful. True or false? The boys. False. Eddie, mira, he's very angry. You know where the ball is? The ball is on in the box on the vegetables. Oh. The firefighter is brave. That is true or false? True. Okay, the t-shirt is pretty. True. True. The burglar is bad. Hay un ladrón por ahí. Uh -uh. True. Yes, true. And the waitress is naughty. No, that is false. Yes, okay. Let's go to page 85. Yes, okay. Number Six. Este vamos a hacer. Listen and complete. Yes, the sentence. Look, I want you to open the door. Look, I want you to close the window. I want you to study. Quiero que... I want you to write a composition. Quiero, Quiero que vos hagas algo. Yes, is I want you to infinity. Y ahí le pones el verbo en infinitivo. I want you to open the door. I want you to study. Completate una voz. I want you to clean the bathroom. I want you to go and study. Yes. I want you to turn on the lights. I want you to what? Turn off the TV. It's very late. Okay? Good. Let's listen. There we are. Unit 6. Wait.
Language Booster 2. Recording 2. Quiero que hagas una cosa, que subrayes esto, por favor. Esta gramática. I want you to help me. My grandmother wants me to help her. Yes. My teacher wants... My best friend wants me to travel to Italy. Yes. My mother wants me to clean her house. My father wants me to celebrate his birthday. Yes, on a big farm. Mm. Le agregamos la S cuando otra persona quiere que yo haga algo porque el presente sí. Mm. Y decíamos que con he, she, le agregamos S. Then number the pictures. Complete mm. the sentence. Complete the sentence. Dad. Con un pencil siempre por si te equivocas. Yes, pencil, darling. Good. That t shirt. It's so pretty. Mm. Dad, look at that t shirt. It's so pretty. I want you to buy it for me. I want you to buy me that t shirt. I really love it. Yes, okay. Please. Okay. Number Let's two. buy it. Two. Oh no! You naughty boys! I want you to pick up the oranges. I want you to pick up the orange. I want you to pick up the orange. Levantar las naranjas. All right. My grandma. Yes, sorry. Three. Lucy, can you help me with my shopping, please? Come on, Lucy. Let's go to the park. Wait a minute. My granny wants me to help her with the shopping. My granny want or wants? Wants. Wants. No te olvides de ponerle porque ella quiere. Entonces estamos hablando de she wants me to... Open the door, yes, help her with the housework. Four. Lo mismo con the police officer. Claudia, stop! Oh no, the police officer wants me to stop. <laughs> wants me to stop, yes, okay, good. Well, so this is it, yes, and pay attention now, look. Te muestro la foto pizarra, sit down, yes. We are going to go to this part, yes. The pre-reading question. You have your copy. Vos la podés fotocopiar, sit down there, yes. And pay attention, yes, okay. Te muestro la foto pizarra, porque ya casi estamos terminando. Yes, nos queda solamente esta page, yes. Good. Good, good, good. I want you to look at the board. Viste que yo siempre uso esa frase? Yes, I want you to open the door. I want you to look at the board. I want you to study. Acordate que para la clase que viene tenés que estudiar las unidades 5 and 6, ¿ok? Good. Ok, ¿qué vamos a decir hoy? Las pre-reading questions. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora? Vamos a terminar con eso. What was it like? It was ta 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 ta. What is it like? Yes, ok. What was it like? Yes, what was it like? It was beautiful. Yes, y te voy a agregar también what is it like. Yes, ok. Good. Tenés todo, revisión, tenemos la clase que viene. Sí, ok, el 9 del 6. Los tópicos can, adverbio, who can you do easily, I can dance easily. Present continuous, comparatives, yes. Los adverbios, hobbies. Fill in a form, yes, composition, ok. Y me vas a entregar esto para la clase que, que viene, yes. Estas son las pages, perdón, <coughs> del activity book, yes, 72, 73, 74, 75, solo los ejercicios que te pido ahí, eh. Sacar foto, yes, ok, uh, 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 uh. 
Hay que sacar foto. Ok, 76, ta, ta, ta. Y vas a escribir el writing. A eso sí, le vas a sacar foto a ese writing PDF siempre, ¿eh? Ok, me lo mandas en PDF. Formosa, then and now. 50 palabras, como mostró la teacher, dice ahí, ¿ok? Bueno, so pay attention. Vamos a las pre-reading questions. Yes, ok. Estas son preguntas que nos tocan hacer ahora, pero son sobre the girl in the mirror. No leyendo la historia. Son preguntas que vamos a adivinar antes, ¿ok? Yes, preguntas que vamos a adivinar antes y las vamos a hacer juntos. Vos lo vas a tener, te lo vas a copiar si no lo puedes imprimir o si lo puedes imprimir, lo imprimís. Y lo haces conmigo ahora, no es para que vos lo hagas solo de tarea, ¿eh? ¿Ok? Good. Well, what his name? What do you think his name is? ¿Qué te parece? ¿Cuál es el nombre de este chico? What his name? Ok, for me, yo, I know, no te voy a dar ningún spoiler. For me, his name is Peter, his name is Michael, his name is Martin, what his name? No tenemos que decir el real, lo que pensás que es, yes? What do you think his name is? Jack. Jack, well, how old is he? Si vemos en esta picture, no tenemos que leer la historia para esto, ¿eh? porque son pre-reading questions. Uh, how old is he, more or less? How old is he? He's 10, he's 11 years old. How old is he? Yes, you, dale. How old is he for, for you? 12. 12 years old? Okay, le vamos poniendo, vamos a poner así. 12 years old, he's 12 years old, his name is Jack. Okay, is he sad or angry? Ahí tiene que redondear. Or bored, or tired. What do you think? Angry, bored, tired? In the picture. Como misterioso. Mysterious. Bueno, agrega la palabra mysterious. Ok, misterioso. He looks mysterious. Ok. Uh, has he got a house? ¿Qué pensás? Has he got a house? Qué lindo que es, eh. It's very nice. Has he got a house? Ahí pones lo que a vos te parece. Porque estas son pre-reading questions. Yes, son antes de leer la historia. De before you read. Ok, yes, he has. Has he got a family? For me, yes. Yes, he has. Has he got friends? Has he got friends? Mm, no. No? Well, you can put yes, he has, no, he has. And acá pones lo que vos pensás. Has he got a new house? Mm, yes, he has. For me, yes. Are there a lot of boxes in the house? Mm, ahí nos da una pista. Yes, there are. Is, ay, no. Quack. Hay un spoiler. Is Martin happy in the house? No. No, he isn't. Oh, yes, he is. Acá poner lo que vos pensás. Yes? Is there a cat on the table? No. No, there isn't. Oh, yes, there is. Is Martin happy in his house? Yes, he is. Oh, no, he isn't. Has he got friends? ¿Qué te parece? ¿Tendrá amigos? Yes, he has. Oh, no, he hasn't. Yes? Cada uno le pone lo que piensa. Yes? Does he have breakfast? Yes, he does. Oh, no, he doesn't. Does he watch football every day? Yes, he does. For me, yes. What has he got in his bedroom? A ver qué puede tener en su habitación un niño de 11, de 12, 12 years old. He uh, has got a TV. He has got a bed. He has got a night table. Yes, okay. Todas las cositas que puede tener, eh. Who's the beautiful girl? Oh, acá hay otro spoiler. Se ve que aparece una chica. A beautiful girl. Yes? Who's that girl? Who's that girl? ¿Quién es esa chica? Mary? Katie? I don't know. Pone un nombre que pensás quién Mary. es. Okay. He's Mary. Ok. Vos ponés la que quieras que pensás que es. What's her name? Her name is Mary. Her name is, uh, I don't know, Elizabeth. Is she young or old? Young. She's young. She's young. Who is the boy in the picture on the wall? Oh, sabemos otra cosa. Aparece un boy in the picture. Okay, he's a, uh, I don't know, a mysterious person. Yes, he's a friend. Yes. Okay, uh, where is the old well? Aparece un pozo. Okay, good. In the forest, in the bosque? In the forest? In the middle of the city? I don't know. Is Martin lost? Yes, he is. Oh, no, he isn't. Okay. Mm -mm. 
Uh, ¿Does Martin find the boy? O oh, acá sabemos, encuentra a un niño. Acá sabemos que se pierde a alguien. Hay otro spoiler. ¿Does he find the boy? Yes, he does o no, he doesn't. Oh, no, I don't know. Vos le ponés lo que pensás. Acordate que no tenés que leer la historia. Estas son pre-reading questions. Preguntas que respondemos sin saber. Y después, cuando terminemos de leer la historia, vamos a ver si, si estuvimos acertados o no. If we were right or no. Ah, y la última. Has he got... Is he happy now? Yes, he is or no, he isn't. Has he got new friends? Yes, he has. O... No, he hasn't. Contestate todas esas, estas questions bien, así conmigo. No es de tarea, no me tenés que mandar. Eso queda pegado donde en tu cuaderno de inglés. Study for next class. Write the composition and everything. Bye, bye. Say great. Happy weekend. Happy weekend.